Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the latest podcast. Um, I'm going to start with the good news, I'm going to start with the bad news. Um, I could get this so badly wrong if I'm not careful, but the bad news is, you've got me. The good news is, no, that doesn't work. The good news is, you've got me. The bad news is, Harvey's been poached. He's been stolen from us. We've transferred him. He's gone to Scott running. So, bye-bye, Harvey. Hello, everybody, me. Anyway, they didn't ask. They never even put a phone call and said, is it okay? You know, we just had a demand from an agent and we sold him and that was it. Done. God. That's it. Harvey. <coughs> Dead to us now. As to Scott running. <coughs> yeah. No, we will be carrying on with Scott. Love him. Um, but anyway, today's focus is two-parter. Today we're going to look at road running shoes and the second part is we're going to look at some trail shoes and it's all stuff that's recently landed into the store and it's going to be what are they all about. The key focus for us today will be right at the end um, but the first part of this is what True Motion have been up with too. Um, and they've made some pretty amazing changes and have launched a, a brand new shoe with some pretty distinct points of difference. So, one of the reasons we took True Motion in the first place was quite simply because they came into the store. We're actually talking about running movement, running gait, mechanics, human movement, people first, and the fact that as a team of biomechanics themselves, they put together a shoe that they felt actually, uh, I don't want to use the word aided, but complemented um, human movement, human running movement. Um, and judging by the response that we're getting from our customers and judging by the response of how the shoes are evolving to meet the customer need and what the customers are asking for, I would say all in all it's been a very, very positive uh, progression for the brand and actually for us in, in stocking them. So we're going to start with the um, new Aeon 3. The commonality with True Motion shoes is, if you have a look, we've kind of got a U cradle at the back of the shoe, okay, U tech, and in the middle of that is kind of a little bit of a trampoline thing, and the whole idea is it's trying to centralise the heel, which is kind of key on what we would see podiatrists trying to achieve with orthotics, and that just helps the stability of the foot, okay. This cradle's then enhanced with a, a, a purposely shaped heel cup, this thing at the back, okay? Again, just to help hold and stabilize that heel further. In doing that, it helps and aids the roll through onto the forefoot, okay, in the gait cycle, in the push phase, okay? There is a small rocker on the shoe, and what you will probably notice to previous users of the shoe is the stack height has changed dramatically. So the new UTEC foam is much deeper. It does retain its 10 mil drop. And the purpose of this is just quite simply to provide the runner um, with a lot more protection. Having had a little run in this shoe, I would actually describe that midsole as very plush but it's not overly soft. It feels like they're trying to maintain a sweet spot. Um, and in doing so, not only do you get a good feeling of cushioning, but you're able to push through the shoe and it feels responsive. It, it's a really good everyday trainer. Um, it's the best way of putting it. I, I can't think of anything right now that they could improve. The upper, you can see it's nice and airy for breathability, quick drying in the wet. Um, and also there is a little bit of a wider fit to the shoe and overall on your foot, the fit feels improved, it's plusher, it just feels easier to wear. That's the best way of putting it. We've got the specific men's fit and then as you would expect from biomechanics, we've also got a specific ladies fit. The, in this shoe, um, as is common with a lady's foot, the heel tends to be narrower 
and as we know a lady's foot is generally narrower than a men's as well and that is really what they've done differently in the shin there's very little difference looking at the bottom down here in the last yeah maybe slight on the ladies or well, the men's whichever way you want to look at it a um, little bit less curved there so there you go uh, grip wise uh, just we'll do what it says on the tin it's a road shoe at the end of the day so yeah it looks good uh, hope to have a test run in these at some point actually outside with true motion themselves we'll keep you posted on that one folks but yeah uh, well worth a look great everyday trainer um, nice and light comfortable and very protective and obviously from a stability point of view of keeping that foot in a nice um, even position and for the, onto the platform that's what the UTEC is all about give them a go now let's get a little bit more exciting sorry for interrupting our epic podcast we've got some news the Gritstone series I've been told to give this a bit of puffaz or something like that um, we've had two rounds wolf pit and Edel fell race I believe the results are now on the website www.gritstoneseries.co.uk well worth the visit we have three rounds left 26th of june hope 7th july great hooklow 2nd of august salt cellar 27th of august the final round at eam with a party and everything i hope you can live and hope can you party anybody anyway there's a t-shirt Everybody wants a t-shirt and I've just got the mic over and I hope it's still working, otherwise we're gonna to have to do all this again. But anyway, if you haven't entered, get yourself down. Hope, next round, entries on the day. Good old Collins, the race organizer. We all love him and he's out there doing it for free. See ya folks, Gritstone series, don't forget. Vichara. Okay, similarities. Maintains the 10 mil drop. You have the UTEC okay we have the UTEC biological midsole platform again but this time we have a super foam nitrogen infused now the idea of nitrogen infused is that it helps the midsole last longer it can be a little bit plusher a little bit softer but maintains that responsive feel and again for me these guys with, the, with this shoe they haven't gone too soft they've maintained a, a middle ground of firmness again cushioned more so than the Aeon in how it feels um, but should also give us a little bit more life what you'll also notice through the forefoot area it kind of looks like it's been cut compared to the Aeon whole idea behind that as we get through into the toe off we have a greater degree of flexibility okay and the idea being as we roll through we can create more force and actual propulsion um, with the responsive nature of the foam as well it actually makes the shoe feel really quite easy to run in um, and definitely that last sort of bit of your toe off it almost feels like there's a spring under your foot uh, it's quite bizarre um, quite surprising and something very very simple to do um, and I noticed with the true flex I think they've also gone for paint and pending on that as well but correct me if I'm wrong again like the Aeon you've got this upper cradle uh, more noticeable on the gents because you can see it with the orange back to the Aeon there it is with the red so again it's back to this platform supporting the foot and making sure that the heel is held in its sweet spot and on the platform of the shoe. Upper again is what you would expect in a shoe of this nature. Um, very plush, very easy to wear around your foot. Um, and a similar um, fit pattern to the Aeon, which is nice to have through a range of shoes. The other beauty that we like with this shoe is the upper's recycled or from recycled material so that's got to be a really good positive thing for obviously for the environment and it's good to see companies doing this more and more uh, the Vichara does come in a little bit more expensive than the um, Aeon we'll put all the links underneath so you can have a have a peruse yourself later but then it has got the super foam 
um, and it obviously has the new technologies into the shoe um, and again if you are looking for that everyday springy almost racer like feel but with high performance protection and cushioning the Vichara could actually be something well worth a look. Feedback from customers so far and also from the test team that have had a go in these shoes extremely positive and again we'll have a full review on this shoe I believe coming up look out for it I think our Andy's doing it if I remember correctly um, and he's usually brutally honest so it'll be interesting to see what he's got to say so that's true motion lots happening good stuff now then what have we got in the box well let's have a little looky see we have a new shoe from Mizuno. Okay, I'm gonna get the laces out of the way. So this is a shoe known as, or called the Neo Vista. And it kind of looks a little bit different to certainly what we've just been looking at to a lot of shoes out there. Now, Mizuno have spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and some more hours actually into research of the best foams to use, using a one-piece upper to keep weight down and to keep construction to a minimum, um, to produce a shoe that is fast-feeling, protective for the everyday runner. Uh, we went down to a test event and launch event in London to actually be introduced to the shoe. Um, we went for a nice run with it, some elite athletes, some influencers and all sorts of famous people and people from the journalistic world and I think the feedback was pretty unanimous. We could all agree the shoe did what it said on the tin. Okay, so what have Mizuno done? Well, the first thing is, is the midsole. It's their uh, NZ, I can never pronounce this, um, speed boosty type stuff. Okay, and the idea is that it is highly responsive, highly concussioned. It is a super foam, it is nitrogen infused. So again, we would expect the shoe to last. The other beauty with this is, is the cushioning level. It's through the roof. Couple that with the responsiveness you get a toe off, you've actually almost got a shoe if you like the feel of it that is kind of just out of this world. It's cushioned, it's responsive, okay? I'll be honest, when I first put it on, it was a bit weird to walk in, but when you got running in it, there's a, like an initial squidge, and then as you go to push off, it just responds and almost seems like it's throwing your feet forward. The other thing that I like about the shoe is that when you actually finish running, you didn't get achy legs and I think my longest run in these was about 14k um, and normally after those runs I can sort of look at my legs and go yep we did that uh, just didn't have that feeling in these which was a bit bizarre all of this midsole is aided and you'll see why there's two colors in a minute it's plated okay and that aids to the spring it's about the best way of describing it springy boingy Mizuno have been doing plates in shoes for 27 years, continuously, not on and off, all the way through. This shoe's no exception, with a TPU full length plate. I'll grab a ladies. Same, apply, same applies to the ladies shoe. Okay. And again, just as springy. The upper one piece sock like. It really is like wearing a sock with laces. Um, extremely comfortable, extremely light. Uh, it almost felt like if you could detach the midsole when you got home, you'd have a pair of slippers to wear. In fact, the best way of putting it. Might look difficult to get on, but it's nice and elastic -y look. Okay, and a lovely little heel tab just to help the process of getting your foot into the shoe. Yes. Both Debs and I found that we had to really undo the laces at the front to get our foot in cleanly, but once done and you got used to it, it was kind of like, yeah. Um, Debs is actually still wearing these as an everyday shoe. I must admit, I've had it by around the team to get some more feedback, and we'll see what they all say. Grip-wise, we've had, I've used them in wet and dry, absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, cornering, very sweet, 
um, and again as you come off the corner and want to power away could easily be done up and down hill not a problem uh, it's it's an everyday racer trainer almost but it could take the miles um, high mileage runners no problem everyday runners just looking for something that's a bit pingier no problem um, wanting a light shoe no problem wanting a race shoe no problem it ticks so many boxes and I can see why it's getting so many rave reviews so from my point of view that is shoe of the month it's different it's got technology it's got research it's got fit it's got engineering even if you just say the upper um, and we know the way Mizuno do things they'll only bring something to market if they're actually happy with it um, and they don't mess about um, with half measures this shoe ticks the boxes so Mizuno Neo Vista um, we've sold it a bucket load already off the website and in store people are actually coming in and demanding to try it on uh, uh, if you think oh, I'll leave it a couple of months be warned um, we've already been told by Mizuna that they are out of stock and it'll be a case of when the factory can actually get more to them and we haven't got a date for that yet but we suspect it will be towards the end of the year so you heard it here first, a popular shoe already, feedback's been phenomenal. So Mizuno Neo Vista, get yourselves down, get them on your paws, see what you think. Right, there you go, what a choice of shoes we've got. Faster springy, everyday springy with a little bit of fast, everyday, if you like, traditional training shoe with a little bit of extra uh, support on the platform from the UTEC. You can almost say, well, there you go, we've got three shoes, but we can open a shop. There you go. Well, I wish it was that easy, but great. Anyway, there we go, folks. No Harvey, just me. That's it. Running shoes done. See you later.